morning! It's rained here in South Yorkshire, has it? It's just been raining on the way in, so um, I don't know if we're forecast for any more, but we'll see what happens throughout the day. If you have watched a few of our videos now though, why don't you press that subscribe button? It's free to do so, and it gets us closer to that 20k and getting to the pub. Anyway, we've got some cattle to go first thing, so I better crack on with that. Oh, we will jump in the big daff and get these cattle loaded. Get in there. Ding dongs. And away we go. Try and turn the cruise ship round. We're all loaded up and in an attempt to jinx baby to come out, I'm gonna go down into Lincolnshire now. So um yeah. It's not too far away really. Like, yeah, Becky's alright a minute, so should be alright. God, I can't believe it's taking this long. She's getting really like knocked off of it now. She wants baby out. But um these things come when they come. So the next time you see me, I may well be coming back into the yard. Well, I'm stuck in loads of traffic on the A1. We're actually moving now, we weren't a minute ago. Check out that beast. What a weapon. It's even got Arabic on the uh, on the top, Overland it said on it. Now this field of maize here always gets put in really late. I think they irrigate it and it is amazing how quickly it catches up. So. If I'm down here again, we'll take a look at it a bit later on in the year. But it just ramps on. So I'm back in the yard now. Looks like strawing and feeding's been done. I know there's another load of cattle going, which I think my dad will be uh, sorting out. Looks like they're taking the concrete up in front of the shed. We can do a bit of concrete in. He's in here fixing still saws with electric fence wire. <laughs> There we go. Oh. Getting some of these guys out. Do I am? So we are getting the big hole that was in front of the shed all ripped out. I've just been on the still saw and he's been putting water on for me. But we've run out of petrol, so I'm head up to the, uh, the garage and get some, and then we can carry on with that lovely, lovely job. Beastie helicopter coming past. One day, one day I'll have one of them. Maybe. Beast anyway. If someone wants to fetch us a jigger pick next time, then uh, hopefully you know where we are. I'm gonna get the nine meter. Not for any other reason, apart from a place to charge my phone and put it on time lapse. But these are the things you gotta do, deal with when you're trying to do YouTube and farming and construction and everything in between. That's got the uh, blood pumping. Yes, very much so. This is taking much longer than we anticipated. So that's where I cut to about there. The concrete's twice as thick here. And the still saws in bits because the belt's gone. So we need a new belt for that. But first, I need to try and get it out. But trying to get something on to turn them is a nightmare. So if anybody's got any advice on how to get them undone i'm guessing that it probably came with a special tool to fit inside there but you need a really thin socket to do that actually a normal socket does it i was trying to use the impact sockets and they're way too wide the normal one fits perfect <laughs> after all that feel like you're getting somewhere no. yeah, i think we've done it now yours is a couple, couple inches down i think yours yeah. left you can do that down, you know. i can get a new yeah. belt eh it's my job 
There's one down at Wasp, Turner Ayer, sorting the job out. You gonna take it with you? No, I've got the belt. Just... Carry this rather than the saw. Mm. When you get there and you're asking things about it. Oh, I'll say, here it is, this is a number. Does this the same number on your belt? And then you've got to put it back on. It took you two and a half hours to get it off. I'm probably not exaggerating, am I? It took you at least an hour to get that off. To get a belt off a machine. Are you happy? No, you're, you're a slacker. Yeah. Right, I'll happily leave them doing that while uh, I go and pick up this belt. Then hopefully we can do some more cuts and get it out a bit easier. It's it's hard going, I'll tell you that, it's really hard going. Not got the tools for the job, have we? Not got the tools for the job. Gunners on it. <laughs> and another, why not? Bushka. Big Andy on the hammer now. Dad's having a go with Palatines now. We sort of said it, we didn't think it'd work. We've only got a little bit left to do as well. Covered in concrete. Um, it's been a bit of a bad do today because I've not really had a chance to drive this lovely machine that I'm in. The new JCB Beast. Literally drove it up this end to charge my phone and um, use a tripod. That's it. So we'll pull it away now, anyway, and um, start feeding up while they get the last bit of corner out. Nice ballista coming up there. Oh, yeah, baby. So just feeding up, getting everything done. Yeah, that's it, Connor. Um, and to go, because Becky's just rung me um, saying that she's in labour, so it's happening guys, I think it's happening, or oh, hopefully it is soon, so stuff this out of the TM and off. Uh, anybody who's got a mix of engine um, today, I apologise, I'll get it in um, the next video that I'm doing. I um, hope everyone's liked it, press the like button, subscribe if you're not already, Becky's actually gone into labour. Yeah, yeah, I've got to go. So you, you all right to keep, carry on feeding up? No, I'll come and pull you. Right, all right, right. I'm off. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.